He's only been health minister for 11 days. Today, Jeremy Hunt was confronted with an explosive report saying NHS hospitals are on the brink of crisis. Chatting to staff voted NHS heroes by patients at St Thomas's Hospital in London, he didn't take the opportunity to rebut that report, from a Royal College no less. There is a, an increasing strain on the system with a rising number of hospital admissions, a reduction in the number of hospital beds. That means that the length of stay of patients needs to come down. It has been coming down, but it's begun to plateau out again. So this means that there is um, an impending problem. The college says the system can't cope much longer, with more older patients being admitted, with many conditions needing treatment and fewer beds. The government says improvements are already happening. The longer term challenge for the NHS and the Royal College of Physicians is absolutely right, is to make sure that we do focus all of our care on how we're going to better look after older people. And that means delivering more care in the community and putting the right people, who are doctors and nurses, in charge of leading those community-based care services. And that's what the government is committed to doing. The report, however, is scathing. Old people occupy 70% of bed days in hospitals, but doctors and nurses often feel they shouldn't be there. And they can be moved four or five times during a hospital stay, all with detrimental effects on their care. Anne Reid's mother was treated for a chest infection in an acute stroke unit. She has no complaints about the treatment, but says that nurses just didn't know how to handle someone with dementia. It was the same when her late husband was admitted for a stroke. I'm greatly concerned at um, the way people that are in hospital with dementia are catheterised or padded. They go in continent and they come out incontinent, which happened to my husband and um, sedation, a lot of them are still sedated and that is a horrible thing to do to people. There's no doubt NHS hospitals face enormous challenges dealing with old people. What's at issue is how well they're actually doing.